What we're going to do today is we're going to put some product through the high pressure processing unit here at CSRO Werribee. We've got some goat, some diced goat, we've got some lamb four quarter and we've got some beef short ribs and we've got them packaged in some retort safe uh, material. We've got some product with some sauce and some product that's raw. My name's Sam Burke, I'm the corporate chef for Meat and Livestock Australia. What we've done today is we've got some beautiful short rib and we've added kind of like a beef reduction stock just to give it flavour and then we've cryvacked it and we've put it in the HPP unit and the result is amazing just in, in half an hour's time with something that would take me in the kitchen four to five hours at 140 degrees. 30 minutes later I've got the same result. It's almost like a sous vide. So HPP isn't new, uh, it essentially we're loading a vessel, surrounding it with water and under pressure um, the product gets released. Now that's a little bit similar to a retort. In retort, uh, which is used for, for tinned food, that's, a, that's similar to operating at five bar. High pressure processing is actually running at 6,000 bar. So this unit allows us to impart heat which is quite unique, it's a new, new approach to using HPP and what that's doing is obviously in, inactivating the microbes but it's also giving the opportunity for the red meat to become tender. There's no additives in HPP processed uh, red meat uh, and that's a good thing because then we can add our own fresh raw ingredients. So no additives, no preservatives, better product for the consumer, better product for the customer, better product for kitchens, a winner all around. The great advantage is we're using secondary cuts, so we're adding value to those cuts that typically need to be, yes, stewed longer, but also are a lower value. Um, so really capturing and creating demand for the producer. We get great shelf life and we get that great flavour note coming through. Well, the benefit of the HPP is you can do a variety of different uh, uh, methods of cookery. So it's got some beautiful street theme here with the Mexican soft shell taco which is hitting the pub scene a lot these days. We've got a beautiful sharing comfort food, slow cooked beef rib served on a Paris mash with jus and Johnny Jump Up flowers. We've also got a lovely Moroccan tagine served on Israeli pearl couscous that we've finished off with pomegranate seeds and fresh yo uh, Greek yogurt. So here we have a lovely lamb, tagine. We've got some ancient grain goat curry that we've done here today uh, with some fresh coriander and baby popper. So we've completed obviously the validation side. Um, what we're really keen to progress now is turning these into products on the shelf. Um, so we're talking to a number of clients around commercialisation opportunities and taking this research into the market. The future is very exciting for HPP. Uh, we like to talk about demand-driven innovation and growing demand for Aussie red meat in Australia. And the good thing about HPP is that we're delivering a good quality, consistent product with extended shelf life up to three times, easier for the chef, 3% yield loss, which is incredible, a tasty product where the consumer is happy. And that's what HPP delivers. Well, at the moment there are five HPP units in Australia. There's over 260 units around the world. And what we'd like to do is definitely um, see red meat, high pressure processed in the marketplace uh, in the very near future.